Hey guys, today I'm doing a setting guide in HCC because many people asked uh, about it, how my video settings are uh, for feedback, etc. So yeah, I'm doing it today. I hope it will help you and let's get into it. So we are now in the game settings. Um, yeah, let's just start with a video. Uh, first of all, I don't use full screen. Yeah, just um, for not having black screens uh, while tabbing out and stuff. I will also um, put uh, down into the description the video settings uh, by day and night, but I will come later to it why <laughs> I use day and night settings. Um, yeah, for those who want to do it manually, I will just let it go through slowly. Yeah, for example, opponent visibility uh, depends on on your computer. I have a 3080, um, so yeah, it depends if your computer is strong enough for it. Actually, I think motion blur is one of the crucial things here in the settings. For those who probably saw my streams or stuff like that, uh, I always use low settings. So we are down now on the day and night settings. For those who don't know, you can do exposure gain up just to have better view in the night. I will show you a picture now. Difference between day and night, you can see it. Uh, the other ones are the default settings of the game, uh, 0 0.4 if I'm right. And yeah, the other ones are the night settings, 0 0.8, what I use in, in esports races. You also have a day uh, setting. I like to have it a bit brighter, but it depends uh, what you want. Uh, you can also use 0 0.4, but uh, when it changes to night, you have to have 0 0.8. Other than that, you will <laughs> don't see anything. Yeah, that's actually it with uh, the video settings. If you go into audio, um, yeah, let, just let me explain a bit. The onboard setting is a bit lower. Uh, because I want to hear the tires, that's why it's on 100%. Exterior engine is also not really necessary in the game. Opponent uh, car is on 65%, uh, so I can hear my own, own engine more than the others. If we go into control setting, I mean, I don't have I don't, I don't have my cube controls right now connected. I use my BMW wheel. I will get to that later too. But yeah, it's it's not really something special actually. Force feedback is on 40%, damper on 3%, dynamic dampening on 100. Uh, road effects I would uh, do on 0% because that's just some um, yeah artificial force feedback. That's not what the actual let's say actual force feedback or physic does. So I will also put the force feedback settings in the description below. The, the cube controls button settings are not really, really important. Uh, one, one, one thing I would suggest you if you drive TC off is you put static buttons for TC uh, zero and TC two one or what you use. BMW wheel, uh, as it has a bigger diameter, uses more for feedback personally for me, uh, because yeah, it has a bigger diameter and yeah, for feedback gets lower or lighter. Uh, cube control is also a bit lighter than the BMW wheel, so it makes sense to use more for seatback in the BMW. BMW wheel, I use uh, V3 pedals, just actually do 5% dead zone in, in, in the fun attack software when you start pushing the, the brake or the throttle. And then I personally use full 100% uh, brake pedal. So yeah. Getting into general, I would suggest you to use English or Italian if you're an Italian. Replay max length is one hour. That's also what I would su suggest you. Pit markers, pit uh, pit crew and pit markers. I would also turn on. Uh, pit crew animation is... You can turn it off, but depends. It looks cool. <laughs> Going into assists. Uh, yeah. This is also a personal preference. A gearbox is on manual for me, obviously. Clutch is on automatic, so I don't stall it. <laughs> it's, so it's it's easier for me, but uh, one of my teammates does does use manual clutch. Uh, engine start uh, is on manual for me. 
uh, that also has to do with uh, the pit. If you change the driver, uh, you have some problems if you have uh, the engine start on, on automatic. So, yeah. For those who don't know, when you go into the pit and you change drivers, you can do five seconds before changing the driver on a five second um, timer. You can start the engine and the other driver doesn't have to start the engine and it, you, he can go instantly. And with engine automatically, I had some issues with it because I used it in the past, but I don't use it anymore. Uh, wipers, uh, I use automatic as well as lights. Pit limiter, I use manually. It's it's easier for me to drive into into the pit and manually do it than, than uh, vice versa. Stability control is on off. Everything else doesn't make any sense. Stability control is completely stupid. I think you lose a lot of time with it. ID line is um, hidden for me. You can turn it on if you don't know the tracks, but personally for me, it doesn't really make sense. On the HUD, uh, this depends on also on the screen with the left and right margin. Uh, I drive on a 34 inch ultra wide. Um, so yeah, these are the settings, but if you have a 49 inch, it also changes. Then we will uh, go into the FOV settings. So being in the FOV settings, uh, this also change on every car uh, in the Merc. Uh, here you have the settings. I drive quite to the front, but that's um, actually helps me for, for example, in Mount Panorama to go uh, down the hill. You can see a bit more of the car, so you don't drive into the walls and stuff. Motion is zero zero. I don't like the motion camera. Display, like the dashboard display is uh, in the hut because I don't see the, <laughs> I don't see the dashboard anymore in the car. Yeah, everything else uh, you can, I think, screenshot. I think that's actually it. I hope uh, the video helped you and see us next week when the LFM starts again. Bye bye.